Disneyland tour, obviously because it's it's where I live, um, is is one of my favorite tours, and it's uh, it's it's a really fantastic tour in so many ways. Um, it's about 12 days long. And it travels right across the island of Newfoundland. So we start in St. John's on the east coast. And we end up on the west coast in, in Grossmore National Park. Obviously one of the big uh, highlights and spectacles for people is the seabird colonies that Newfoundland is so famous for. We get to see tens of thousands of Atlantic puffins, hundreds of thousands of common myrrh, uh, so many other seabirds. The huge, spectacular northern Gannet colony of Cape St. Mary's. And that's just the first few days. Then we travel into the boreal forests, get to see a great variety of uh, forest birds, including warblers, uh, in their breeding habitat in the, in the Canadian boreal forest, which many people just don't get to see them in that context. To hear them singing, uh, to see the morning sunlight hitting them in the tops of those trees, uh, it can be quite amazing. And just spectacular coastlines, uh, absolutely amazing scenery and landscapes. Places like Grossmore National Park, which are internationally renowned for being so beautiful, we get to, to use all of that as a backdrop for some absolutely uh, amazing birding in a place like no other. I think one of the biggest highlights for me on every time I meet the Grand Newfoundland Tour is when we, we jump on that boat and we head out to the Whitless Bay Ecological Reserve. When we, we round that corner and we, we head towards the island and we just see the, the swarms of seabirds over the water and on the water and sitting on the cliffs um, and we get up close and personal to those puffins um, and the look on everyone's face and the ah is uh, never gets old. It's always an amazing highlight for me.